We're making ricotta gnocchi. Ricotta, flour, salt, eggs, decoration. After you get to a certain consistency, you have to work it by hand. I'm just going to bring it together, roll it out, fold over like this, and just keep working the flour. See, it's still sticky. second so we wrap it in cellophane plastic wrap and then we put it in the fridge for 20 minutes So some people like to get fancy with the shaping of this, I don't. And I also prefer a bigger gnocco. Uh, just prefer the bite. I find the little ones become rubbery when you cook them. Uh, ricotta gnocchis are like soft and billowy. They're not as dense as the potato ones. To preserve that, I find a bigger cut is required. Also less work. Put a little bit of flour in there just to keep them from sticking to each other. The last ones always come out more uniform. Ooh, we got an escapee. Yucky. I'm out of parchment paper, so I just put some flour in a baking sheet. And what you want to do now is lay them out, and now they're going to go in the freezer. Of course, uh, you're going to want to enjoy some of these fresh, so I'll put them aside. It's too late for me to make them tonight. Good morning. salt. So again, butter, extra virgin olive oil, anchovy paste, and a little bit of chopped up garlic. So once they come to the surface like this, they need about another minute, seeing as they're bigger gnocchi.
which one gets it first? This one. Mmm. Little pillows of goodness. Mm. Parmigiano. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.